All right, now we're gonna be going over page 77. Okay, all these vocab words. So we'll go over the vocab word, and then um, you know we'll talk about the meaning, and then we'll put in a, use it in an example sentence. So if you find the first vocab word on your sheet, the word is circumstance. Okay, I'll repeat it again. The word is circumstance. Okay, so if we sound it out, circumstance. Okay. So you would rate on a scale of one to four. So just ask yourself on a scale of one to four how well you know it. One would be you barely know the word. Up to a four would be how well uh, you could use it in a sentence on your own. Okay. So when I'm thinking of circumstance, um, if you're feeling unwell, that would be an unplanned challenge to finish your homework. So feeling unwell is an example of an unforeseen circumstance. Okay. So in this case, a circumstance would be a fact or condition that affects a situation. So a fact or condition that affects a situation is going to be called a circumstance. Okay. Now we'll take a look at the example question, or example sentence, and we'll fill in the blank. So it says, an unforeseen circumstance that would make it difficult to finish your homework is what? So you think about things that are you don't expect to happen, okay? That happens, and then you can't do your homework. So, for example, like um, there's an inland hurricane and it knocked out the power at my house, or maybe you're you got sick and you had to go to the doctor's office, okay? But another one I'll use here be an unforeseen circumstance that would make it difficult to finish your homework would be feeling unwell okay so if I feel unwell okay, that would be an unforeseen circumstance because I wouldn't be able to predict that I'm sick so make sure you go ahead and fill in the blank there with uh, uh, feeling well and since we don't have a period here at the end of our sentence we're just gonna make sure we have one it's very important we add those periods to the end of our sentence all right let's take a look at the next word the word is culture Okay, I'll say it again, the word is culture. And we'll sound it out, culture. Two syllables there. Um, in my culture, we believe that um, going to the mountains is a very important way of getting exercise and experiencing where you live, okay? So in this case, culture would be the beliefs and customs shared by people in a group. So the beliefs and customs shared by people in a group would be their culture. Okay, so for example, it'd be like, it could be a religion, it could be the way you dress, it could be the way you live, okay? So for example, am I, in my culture, it could be appropriate to live with my parents until I am very old. In other cultures, it might be appropriate to move out when you turn 18. So let's take a look at the example sentence. So the sentence says, a holiday that people in my culture celebrate is what? So in our culture, in American culture, what's one holiday we celebrate? I think of a lot. We got Memorial Day, President's Day, July 4th, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Okay, any of those would be good ones. But one that's coming up that I'll use that our culture celebrates is Halloween. So I'm going to go ahead and write Halloween in this blank. And I'll make sure I get a period at the end of the sentence. Okay, because it doesn't have one there. Take a look at the next word. The next word is ethnicity. Okay, I'll repeat that again. The word is ethnicity. We sound it out. It goes ethnicity. Okay, so we got four syllables there. And um, in this case, the ethnicity would be, be when you belong, state of belonging to a group of people who share a culture. So if I, the state of belonging to a group of, sh of people who share a culture is called ethnicity. So you would write share or a uh, group in the blank. And then we'll take a look at the example sentence. So uh, it says here, Someone's ethnicity might influence what? Okay, so think about maybe where you're from. 
okay? It could influence maybe what you eat, maybe what you wear, maybe the way you talk, maybe your accent is, maybe the language that you speak, okay? So all those are definite options. So I'm gonna put someone's ethnicity might influence the types of foods you like. Okay, because if I'm from uh, different parts of the world, there's gonna be different types of foods I'm gonna like um, that other people might not like. Okay, so for example, in America, we love hamburgers, okay, but in um, northern Mexico, people eat a lot of tacos, for example. Okay. Find the next word. The next word is existence. Okay, I'll repeat it again. The word is existence. If we sound it out, it is existence. Okay, so we've got three syllables here. Okay. The existence would be. Um, I'll use an example sentence. Um, if you get enough sleep, you'll likely have happier existence. So in this case, existence would be the way that someone lives. So the way that someone lives is their existence. 